Hey guys, what's up? It's Kao Ninja, and welcome to another OJ2 discussion. But today we're doing a little bit of a subsection called Character Discussions, where we talk about a character, go over what they're like, and go over whether we should change them if they're way too good or way too bad. This will just be a basic discussion on the character to see whether they're balanced or not. And today we're going to be talking about Overhaul Version 2, the forgotten character. Alright, so let's go over, over Overhaul's archetype. He is supposed to be your text typical zoner. He is the second unlockable character after you beat the hero story and then you go into the villain story. If you beat the game, you get to get, uh, you get Overhaul version 2. Um, with as long with a hundred percent deku. He's supposed to be a zoner. He is the evolved form of typical overhaul. But there are some problems with him that I'll get into later. But yeah, let's just go over some of the stuff he uses for zoning. First off, main one is his quirk one. His quirk one is this giant, like, rock, met rock stabby thing that just goes straight towards you. Has pretty decent tracking, I'd say. Um, let's just see Nezure, like, dash around or something. Yeah, it has, like, if I hit, if I, yeah, if I move it a couple times, it'll, like, move around and snake around, which makes this a pretty okay option. There's still some problems with it that I'll get into later. Um, but next we can talk about his Quirk 2, which I think is the worst move he has. This move right here, it's a volley of rocks or uh, rock spears that just go straight into you. And then at the very end, it'll do one last striking hit. And then it'll do like basically no damage. Um, one other thing that he uses is zone, which also functions as a relative like neutral combo tool kind of, is his Toe Quirk 1. His Toe Quirk 1 will just go out and will form together to make like this kind of like meteor black hole effect and then like explode out this is really good to just like throw out and just see what someone does it kind of tracks so it'll go far enough and maybe it'll hit and the explode there's like two hit boxes there's the come together hit box and then there's the explosion hit box at the very end which helps it do a lot more damage making it a threatening tool in combos it has a lot of fd though so you can't really get hard combos off of it like you should be able to but yeah he's supposed to be basically a zoner so let's talk about all the problems that he has now the first thing you could probably notice is that overhaul 2 to the average person is hella slow like way way too slow to get anything done his run is decent but you want to know where you can't run round start and you want to know what happens when you're round start up against a hungry like mashing rapper and you gotta hold that and you don't hold that on accident you just die you don't got meter you can't guard cancel maybe they're waiting for it maybe you're fighting a shoot style who's like cracked up on black star heroin and as soon as he touches you you take like 13k and then you splat into the wall and then you take like another 6k and then you're like basically almost straight up dead so yeah he is insanely slow and besides in besides that his projectiles aren't really even that good now let me show you projectiles to make a zoner threatening your projectiles have to cover a certain amount of space and a certain amount of area to make your opponent dance now his quirk one can kind of manage this but it is so thin and so like short that it won't actually like make anyone threatened because you could just typically dash around this like smart enough and you'll actually be able to you know actually just get around it easily making it not as threatening also it has a bit of some startup it has a decent bit of startup, so you can get clobbered out of this. Another bad thing is that his Quirk 2 is possibly the worst projectile in this entire game. Possibly. Now, let me explain why. Do you see how far I was bash the button just to wait for it to come out? And you see how little range it has? And you see how little damage this does? The only reason you ever press Quirk 2 is to cover yourself on in the air literally the only reason because no one can touch you like say they're jumping it'll kind of track you while they're hold on let me double jump them let me put them on double jump hold on where is mid air jump there we go look if they are in the air or yeah it'll track them in the air like if they are in the air it'll go up and it'll kind of like anti-air for you making it like a relatively good anti-air and huh, i wonder when 
Netra is kind of, do you see that like jitter? All right, no, 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 never mind. But yeah, it'll kind of like anti-air and it'll like follow them upwards. So that way it'll cover your body. Also, it covers behind you. So it has some uses, but other than that, doesn't go far enough to be threatening at all. The only threatening thing he has is he's J quirk one or quirk two because it does a lot of guard damage like a lot of guard damage look at that that is literally almost half but other than that he literally just has normal guard break on basically everything else that just does a decent little chunk um but his air quirk too is the one that's kind of actually somewhat scary so yeah his projectiles aren't threatening for him to be a zoner but does that mean he can play rushdown? Absolutely not. None of his tools can affect effectively rush down besides his toe quirk one. And that even then it's wonky because of the hitbox and the FD. You can rarely rarely ever get a combo. Also, how high it sends you up, you can kinda miss like that. Um a lot of stuff he has problems with. His combos aren't effective enough. Also, speaking of combos, he can't do plus ultra two and plus ultra one in a combo. Um, so you can't get that extra added damage that he would need to be actually threatening. Granted, his plus ultra one, it does heal him. So if you probably do it after a wall spot, you can get something after that. It heals him. But you should be able to get this mid combo, in my humble opinion. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now granted, overhaul version one or version two does okay damage. It does okay damage. Like, he'll heal himself, like, without the final hitbox, but he doesn't get enough damage. It only does, like, a small sliver, and that's not worth it. That is not worth it. It adds, like, an extra K, but without it, you'd get... Also, yeah, his combos do that. They are weird as hell. So you gotta make sure you position yourself so miraculously well without actually having to, you know, like, move yourself enough so that we don't whiff in the middle of the combo to not whiff at the beginning of the combo, which makes it so that way his combos are inconsistent. Combined with having high FD means that not only is he inconsistent zoning-wise because his projectiles are just straight-up bad, he's inconsistent combo-wise because his moves just straight-up fucking miss. And that is why V2 is garbage. He's not consistent. He's just not consistent with doing anything. Like, he can't zone very well. And at low level, obviously, a projectile is a projectile. You're going to get stuffed out regardless. But the worst thing about his zoning... Look at this. I need... His projectiles can't clank. His projectiles cannot clank with anything. So he will get stuffed out regardless. This is literally the main worst thing about the Todoroki matchup. Because his... He, his spears go straight through his fireballs. Now, maybe you're saying, maybe his uh, quirk 2 beats it. Yeah, maybe his quirk 2 beats it. Maybe you can do that. Absolutely not. You get completely stuffed out. Nope. Nopeity nope. You can't even, like, 2 quirk 1 through it. Hold on, let me show you. You get stuffed out. Everything he does gets stuffed out. He can't do anything. His projectiles should clank and pierce through basically everything if they are that slow. Especially his quirk 2. No excuse for it being that fucking garbage. Bro, no excuse. He is such a bad character. He's way too inconsistent combo-wise. His projectiles are just straight up bad. So, basically, you should play any other character. Play the other overhaul. The other overhaul is goddamn insane compared to him. Um, but yeah, he's not a, he's not good, but the one saving grace he has is that he does above average damage for, like, one quarter, one letter? Hold on. Let's see if, like, I don't get stuffed out by the map geometry while I'm doing this. One, two, three, uh, he does about av above average typical damage i'm used to mirio doing like 8k for a single bar so i'm not used really used to 10k like that except if it's like a deku a deku or like any other character <laughs> like you know i'm not really used to stuff like that but yeah he does okay damage also he has two reds um he has this one pretty okay pretty fast i'd say it goes pretty far his reds are pretty good um his other one is long, and it does hell a lot of scaling, so it doesn't help 
that he has a high FD and then this one has high scaling, making it so that way, yeah, you don't just don't get that a lot of damage, even though I just did above average damage. Uh, do not look at that. I am dumb. I don't know why that did as much damage as that did, but yeah, it's there. It's slow as hell, though, and it does have a lot of tracking, so yeah, but I forgot to mention that his yellow, yeah, it's garbage. It's the worst yellow in the game, and I will not be debated otherwise. It's the worst yellow in the game. Not Rappa's yellow, not like any other yellow, this yellow right here. It goes 1.5 inches in front of you. I have whiffed in the face of a Kirishima. You can whiff here. I don't know if you're going to whiff right in front of Measure like this. I don't think you will, but you're about, you were about to. You need how many yellows before you hit Nezure? Like three before you hit Nezure. That should not happen. Any other yellow? Say, for example, Nezure's yellow. Let's see how far Nezure's yellow goes. It is still chasing me after I dashed three times. You want to know how far my yellow goes? Nope. I don't even cover a square. I don't even co cover a single square. So, he has nothing to rush you down, and he has nothing, absolutely nothing to keep you out. Because he is so slow, all his moves are so insanely slow, that it essentially just makes him completely useless. It makes him completely useless. His assist is bad, too, if I recall correctly. Maybe it has some niche issues, but it's bad. His plus ultra, granted, he has the best plus ultra 2 in the game. Hold on, let me look at, let me, let me show you. His plus ultra 2 is like... His Pulse Ultra 2 is heat. I can't deny that his Pulse Ultra 2 is heat. It's literally like God tier. So I can't de I can't deny him having the best Pulse Ultra 2 in the game because he just straight up fucking murders you. So yeah, that's basically all he really has. Um, So yeah, we... Oh my god, that silhouette is heat, man. That is heat. And then there's a drop right in front of you. That's so funny. Um, But yeah, we can basically talk about what I think would make him better as a character. So, we're going to go two ways with this. We can either go zoning side, or increase his ability to rush you down and actually do shit. Both of these involve making him faster. This should not be a thing. This shouldn't be a thing. With Rappa, he is a slow, heavy hitter. So he can kind of deserve that. For Midnight, she keeps you out with long range. She's more methodical. That is okay. With Overhaul version 2, he has absolutely nothing. To deserve this type of walk speed unless it's to look intimidating and to have like one of the best troll spins in the game but no he, there's nothing that he has that lets him leads him to believe that he needs this shit he doesn't need this shit now we'll talk about a rushdown aspect so first off we'll make him faster obviously and the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to make his toe two faster and we are going to give his toe one armor now, it doesn't need to go farther, it just needs to have armor. So that way, when he wants to go Unga, he can go Unga. So, yeah. Um, essentially, you know, just give it armor. You give him a way to get in pretty easily. You can either give it armor or give it a guard point part like Mirio's Tokork 2 has. But yeah, that's really all I'd want to do. Um, reduce his FD just by a little bit. Um, not by too much. He'd probably have too much damage. And plus with Kirishima, you're already getting a lot of damage. But just crank it up a little more. Give him a little bit more FD. Make him faster. Give his Toker 1 armor so that way he can get in. Give it armor. Give it guard point. Give it a little bit of extra range because this shit, is, like, whiffing in front of, like, a Nezure is genuine pain. Um, the projectile is pretty good after that. Um, you can kind of, like, shark people, hit them, boom, like that. Um, yeah, but just give that armor, make him faster, make his took work too, took work too faster, so that way you can, it'll be actually much more of a threat. Um, his red can stay the same. Make his yellow go farther than that. Just, just straight up, just make his yellow go farther than that. And for the love of God, this is a universal change, by the way. Let him dash cancel his took work too. Because you can't do that. I don't even think he can dash cancel his Tokork 1. He can't. He can't dash, dash cancel his projectile besides his air ones. Like, he can dash cancel his air ones. He, he can't even dash cancel air Tokork. He can't even dash cancel air Quirk 2. Like, yeah, you can't dash cancel half the shit that you have. So, yeah. I'd say give ground Tokork 1 armor. Make ground Tokork 2 faster. 
um, make his yellow go farther, make him faster in general, um, and in combos, make this not whiff, make this not whiff, I reduce his FD for a reason, it should be enough, le enough less FD, so that way you can actually just not die with it, and it won't straight up like whiff, and you can actually get rewarded for something that you actually did correctly, but yeah, that is the rushdown side that I would like to improve, if we let him improve his rushdown side, let's talk about his zoner side, so for V2 to be a threatening zoner, he needs to be faster, um, he, he, he just make it so that way he walks, make him so that way he walks at the speed of Nezure's walk, that's basically it, so first off, what we need to do is give to give all of his moves the ability to pierce straight for, through projectiles, pierce straight through, actually just straight up beat them, if his moves are going to stay as slow as they are, then give them high priority. That's my motto right there. If they're going to be that slow, give them high priority. Also, another thing that I want to do, which may sound crazy, is give his moves a lot more armor breaking potential. Or not armor breaking, but just guard breaking potential. This should make him way more threatening as a zoner because zoners actually want you to move and do shit. You know, like, move, make mistakes. His moves aren't good enough to do that besides his air quirk, too. And even then, it won't crack a full shield. Um, but yeah, give his give his projectiles way more guard-breaking potential. Because that will make him an, actually a threatening zoner at higher levels of play. Now, another thing that we should probably do is probably make this do more damage. Now, this... At very close range, this is pitiful. This is absolutely pitiful. 4K, pitiful. Absolutely garbage. I think if I hit it the sweet spot, it does not even 5K. It doesn't even reach 5K. Let's see how much Nezure's does. Let's see how much Nezure's does. Let's not even factor in the quirk. That did almost the same amount for half the damn time. And she can recover way faster, and she can dash dash cancel it. So, or and then and, and she could just dodge out of the way of it if she wanted to. But yeah, make it so that way you know it does more damage. So that way it's actually a threatening, like actually threatening. I'd say make this do 6k, make it do 6k damage. Ma yeah, make it do 6k damage. I know that sounds crazy, but make it do 6k damage at the very sweet spot where all of them hit all together. You can keep it so that way the lower spots actually have like 5k, 4k, maybe if you call on a Kirishima assist, you can amp that damage up. But yeah, also make it so that way he can dash cancel it so that way he can be safe because this shit is like unsafe as hell. Um, but yeah, just make his projectiles better. Um, his air cork one, I wouldn't really change. It's more of a combo tool. His air quirk too already has the properties that I generally want. The only thing I'd want is that I could dash cancel off of it to get a combo, make it more consistent with that. Um, but other than that, yeah, he really he. I feel like overhaul version two doesn't need a lot of changes for him to be actually good. It's just that all the stuff that he needs is just stuff that should have been on him to begin with. Like, I, I, I don't like to input power scaling, like, from the actual anime and, like, games. Because, like, if that were the case, half of Dragon Ball Fighters cast would be invalidated by Beerus and UI Goku. But, if I ever see someone get hit by this in real life, I expect that shit to hurt way more than it does. That tickles you. That tickles you. I've seen assists do more damage. I think Kiri assist does more damage than that move. It, that should not be the case. That should be the case. So, in, 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 basically, basically what I'm trying to say, if you were going to make him a rushdown, more, ori more oriented, oriented rushdown, is that make his post ultra one combo bowl and combos, reduce his FD, make his yellow go farther, make his toe quirk two faster, um, give his toe quirk one armor or guard points, that way he can go in. And yeah, that's what I want to do for the rushdown side. For his, like, defensive, more zoner play style, make either his moves faster or give them a lot of guard breaking capabilities. And that's basically it. Make sure it actually beats projectiles. Make sure it actually beats projectiles, because I don't want him going straight through projectiles and then I just straight up die and lose the fireball game in the beginning of the match because I can't actually 
counter zone against anyone because none of my moves clank with anything. I shouldn't be losing the counter zoning just because overhaul version 2 projectiles don't function. I shouldn't. This shouldn't happen. This should not happen. But in, in short, that's basically what I'd want to do with overhaul version 2. If you have any other character that you want me to talk about, I plan on talking about Bakugo next, but if anyone wants another character that we're going to talk about, then go ahead, comment down below, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.